Hi folks, Southern Remarketing in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks, diesel trucks, four-wheel drive trucks, every kind, folks, we sell it. One of the hardest to find is a really nice Dodge truck on the secondary market, a Dodge four-wheel drive and Cummins diesel. We've got one we're going to list today. It is a, and I'm sorry, what, yeah. The, it's an 07 it's Ram. It's an 07 Ram. I, for, you know, when you get my age, you can be excuse for that but it's an 07 ram it's a cummins uh, turbo diesel engine four-wheel drive and it has the laramie package folks just everything you'd want in a truck four-wheel drive automatic leather windows door locks tilt crew got it all sitting on a matching set of toyo tires not beat up not uh, anything uh, uh, cosmetically, everything is just wonderful. Now let me tell you, the weak point on these trucks, of course, Dodge trucks of this era was a transmission. This has had the transmission replaced and all that done to it. The stickers under the cab, uh, that, that all that's been taken care of. So you ready to go on this one. It will last as long as you take care of it. An 07 Dodge Laramie, you can see right here, it's got a great stance to it. I, this is some sort of ranch hand type bumper here on the front. If you don't want that, we'll be glad to take it off for you. Uh, Headlights aren't fog, got a new windshield, got a two inch leveling kit on the front. Just a good looking truck. You can see in here the leather looks good, the headliner's good. Power seat, uh, got weather tech mats. Full wheel drive here. Uh, these mats are some kind of expensive, but the dash is not cracked has no odors to it you can see the seats here these are the original seats i guess with the got the dodge ram emblem and all that look in here how clean it is up in here it's never been a work truck or a farm truck some boy had or girl i guess had tried to tear daddy's truck up it is a full wheel drive i mean a four-door truck you mean you, someone has not tried to yeah tear not it. tried to tear it up in the mud you can see uh, these seats they flip up they got this deal it folds out for a flat floor or you can fold it up out of the way and you got storage good looking truck uh toyo tires see right here no paint work that's all it's a weak spot they're gonna painters just will not make that look right and get through uh spares under it which is a big plus you can so see behind the wheels that it's not rock pecked to death, so you know, hadn't spent much time off road. Clean. It's got a uh, that's a spray in bed liner in it. That's yeah. a, the original spray in bed liner, folks. It's got a fifth wheel set up in it. You can take out if you don't want it. However, you know, if you ever need it, it's there, and that is an expensive option. It adds so, value. Pardon, it adds value. You can see down the sides here. Uh, it's not pecked up, chipped up, beat up. There's a little scratch there. It's not going to show up in the pictures. And it's not souped up uh, either. It don't have gigantic exhaust and uh, all that mess that people do to crank up the power these, and beat them up. These trucks are really hard to find, folks, in this condition. Look in here, son. Uh, for every Ford truck you can find. Like for every 25 Ford trucks you can find, you'll find one Dodge. They're just hard to come by on the secondary market. Got heated. Especially in this condition. Heated tow mirrors. They flip up or turn down. A lot of oh, jokes about Dodge tires. tow mirrors. Of course, that's a new windshield, Dan said, and it's not pecked up, chipped up. Got your lights on top. The chrome's beautiful. You can see it. Chrome's perfect. We put new headlights in it. The old ones had that little fade and they do. So I just went ahead instead of trying to polish them, we put brand That's new ones in it. Too. Anyway, folks, it's a great truck. Got a beautiful stance to it. Looks really good. If you've been looking for one of these and you went out to your local dealer and you got sticker shock, better look at this one, folks. It's got a little over 200,000 miles. Uh, the transmission's redone. It'll last you forever. It won't smell like new. But uh, that, uh, this one, when you get through with it after four or five years, if you decide you want to trade it or sell it, you pretty much get your money back based on the way it's going. You can buy a new one and uh, you'll lose you about 50 grand. So let me turn this phone off here. I've got a bunch of stuff. Anyway, 
It's a great truck. It's a 2007 Dodge turbo diesel four-wheel drive Laramie four-door truck sitting on a matching set of tires. The spares underneath it. The leather's great. Headliner's great. It's just really a nice truck, folks, and it's going to be a bargain. So if you need a truck like this, man, this is going to be a good one. Thank you so much for watching our video, folks. We appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about the truck and seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi folks, Dan Dell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck and I'm going to take you on a test drive. But before I do, just want to show you under the hood because first of all, we don't clean under hood. So this is just how this truck came in. But the good part about that is you can tell it hadn't spent its life out in mud holes because when you've been splashing through muddy water and stuff, all that mud and, and dirty water hitting these bare aluminum parts gives them a patina that just can't be removed. And this one doesn't have that. So, you know, I'm not saying it's never been off-road, but if it has, it ain't been off much. Main thing though is you can see when I take the cap off, just a little bit of smoke. Smoke's not a big deal though, as long as it's not puffing. The main thing is you can see, set the cap down, it doesn't blow off. If the cap blows off, that means you got blow by. And all that is, that's engine compression getting past the engine, the piston rings and into the crankcase. It's not necessarily the sign of a bad motor, but it's a sign of wear and this one doesn't have it. So anyway, now we're gonna hop in and take you on a test drive. Okay, now we're in the truck. I'm gonna take you on a little test drive. First of all, you're gonna have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm driving with one hand and steering with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. But even though the video may come out a little shaky, rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive. Um, doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't pull or vibrate when you hit the brakes. Um, fires right up, hot or cold, no issues there. And one thing you can take away from all these potholes and stuff I'm hitting is that this truck is, is tight. There's no thunks, there's no rattles or bangs or, or any of that. So all that's good on it. it. Does have a brand new windshield. You can see it's got the little overhead console. It's got readouts for the compass, the thermometer, uh, the miles per gallon, all that good stuff. You can see the there's the compass and stuff. The dash does not have any cracks on the dash. Now, if you look at that A-pillar, there's a tiny little, I mean, just a, a thread-sized crack on it, but it's not like the dash where it's gonna fall to pieces. That's just probably, uh, probably had a new dash put in it at some point, because trust me, by now, an 07 Dodge is either needing the dash or it's got a new dash, one way or the other. But anyway, you can see it's got the dual zone climate control heated seats one thing i like it's got the manual shift for the four-wheel drive so you don't have to worry about solenoids and step motors and stuff going out and heck even the steering wheel i don't know how well it's going to show up here but there's no rips or tears in the leather or anything i mean if this truck if we told you this truck had i don't know 100 150 thousand instead of 250 you believe us i mean it's it is a nice clean truck and appears it's been well taken care of um, just traded in uh, locally on a new one so um, runs and drives just like it should all we've done to it we um, we put a leveling kit on it and just to give it the, a good the right stance and that's about it so um, like dad said it's got, you know, the one weak point with all these Dodges is the transmission. And this one's already been replaced, so you don't have to worry about that. There were a lot of updates that came out to the transmissions after this one was built. And so when they're rebuilt and they get the updates, then you don't have to worry about them anymore. So even though we don't know exactly how many miles ago I don't have any paperwork, but we were told about 40,000 miles ago and um, don't have any reason to disbelieve that. So, uh, but just take it for what it's worth. What it, 
uh, boils down to is the truck shifts out just like it should and that's the main thing so um, no problems there it's got the 5.9 the high output engine 325 horse instead of the, the standard output 300 horse engine which is always a plus uh, I think this was I'm not a we mostly sell Fords. We're not big Dodge dealers, but I think this was the last year for the 5.9 before they switched to that 6.7 that nobody wants. So uh, that's a good thing. But uh, if you're interested in this truck, feel free to, to fly in and, and drive it home. I wouldn't hesitate to hop in it and, and go anywhere. I mean, it cranks right up. It runs good, drives good, um, goes down the road just like it should. So uh, if you want, we'll be glad to pick you up at the airport during our business hours. No extra charge, or you're welcome to drive in. Now, of course, we also understand most of our customers are from up north, and they're buying from us, A, because we've got great prices, and B, because we got rust-free trucks. And so, that being said, we know not everybody has time to spend several days flying or driving in and then driving home. So. Uh, if that's the case with you, don't let the idea of shipping this truck dissuade you from buying it. That's part of the reason we do this video. And um, if you look online at these websites that give you quotes on prices, don't let those prices scare you off either. The thing is, most of these websites, they're not actually shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road. They're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they'll call it a deposit, but all it really is is their broker's fee. They charge you to post it on this one website that's not open to the public, where all the people in the industry use for uh, finding loads, posting loads, all that stuff. Well, we've joined that website. We are now able, uh, after paying all their fees and jumping through all their hoops and everything, we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping. So. If you're interested, shoot me a text or an email with your zip code, and I'll I'll look it up on there, and it'll give me a good ballpark figure on shipping. And just so you know, we don't charge a markup, we don't charge a deposit or fees or anything. It's a free service to our customers. Although for 50 bucks, even if you don't buy from us, we'll still help you out. But we'd rather you buy from us, and we'll do it for free. But if you're interested, just let me know. And if you're anywhere near Houston or Dallas or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So uh, just let me know where you are and I'll get you a quote on it. It'll be way less than, than you expect. And not to mention, if you're not in a hurry, we can get you an even better deal. We'll, we'll post it. Uh, for a lower asking price than the one it suggests and we'll see if we can find somebody trying to fill an empty spot on their trailer that'll make us a deal. Or if you're in a hurry, we'll post it for more to make it worth somebody's while to, to swing out of their way and, and pick it up. But on average, it takes three to five days from the time we post it till it gets picked up. We've had them picked up as quick as the same day or, uh, you know, if you're off the beaten path or uh, just depending on circumstances, sometimes it can take a little longer, but it averages three to five. And so it's a real easy process. You pay us for the truck, we post it for shipment, we find somebody to ship it, we do all the arrangements, and all you do is when they deliver the truck and drop it off to you, you pay them for the shipping. So make it a real smooth, easy transaction, no issues, try and do a, a good deal for everybody. So. Like I said, if you're interested, shoot me a text or email, 601-376-9869 with your zip code and where it's going and what truck you're talking about, and I'll be glad to get you an estimate. So um, if you have any other questions about this truck, give me a call, 601-376-9869. If you want to make an offer, call me. You want to talk um, about whatever questions you may have just give me a call I'll be glad to answer them and um, oh before I go just want to show you the dash you can see we've been driving nearly 10 minutes and there are no warning lights lit and I like to show the dash because you know if there's a light on it's easy to 
hook up your scanner, kill the light, and take a picture and call it good. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as you go to driving, the light's going to come about right back on. So that's why I like to, to show, you know, after we've been driving a while, that there, is, there are no lights on. So it's one thing you don't have to worry about is any engine lights, ABS, airbag, brake, whatever. There's none lit, so you're good to go with that. If you have any other questions, like I said, just give me a call, 601-376-9869. Appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything we have to say about this truck. And look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.